Right, welcome back to the channel again. Um, more preventative maintenance on the BMW E90 330 diesel 2008 model M Sport. Um, what we have here is a list of uh, prop shaft uh, rebuild kit basically. So uh, let me show you on the diagram. Just sort this tripod out. See if you can. If I can zoom in. Let me hang on. Just. Uh, Oh, I should have done that before. It's okay, and uh, let's tighten this up. Zoom in so you can see what's going on. Right, okay. So that's the prop prop shaft basically. Now, when we inve when I took it up on the ramp at my mate's garage, what I've spotted is that the there is a crack on one of the uh, rear donut basically, uh, which is the ring the the rubber ring here. It's not too bad. The car is still drivable, however let me show you, I did take a picture of the uh, unit, so just scrolling through that on my phone to try and find it, um, and hopefully I should, if I haven't then I think I have probably have gone past it, just bear with me, ah there it is, okay, there it is, found it, right, so let's see if you can, oh, reflect. there you go, okay. That's the crack, okay, but the rest seems to be fine. So here we go, okay. So that's from for, that's from the underneath my vehicle. Yeah, it looks all rusted. I've, I've sealed it basically. We've sanded it down and seal sealed the underneath. The underneath looks like new basically now. Um, so what's getting replaced? The uh, re rear 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 donut. I assume. Right, the front end is going to be where is number 14 because number 14 is where the front end screw fits. So, yeah, so that's your front end, okay? That'll be your front end. So, front end donut number 11 that's a, that's a sleeve that goes inside somewhere here, okay? Um, and I should have a description. What's number 11? Let's have a look at them. Cent centering sleeve hard, okay? So, that's number 11. The donut, which is the universal joint. Two stages, so that's that's one here. Uh, the second second one is the front. I'm just going to replace them all. That's getting replaced uh, again. Number two, what's number two? Centering sleeve, and then on the centre part here, the bearing, which is a full assembly with, with the bearing and that. And then these number five and number five and number six is also getting replaced. So all this all this and all that okay what's number six and number five number five is damper ring damper ring and number six is rubber boot center bearing so that's what's getting replaced and uh, on the other side I'll be replacing this the front end rod basically for the uh, height level sensor on the front right front uh, left if it's a right hand car in the UK it's the front left hand side where the sensor is uh, located basically so uh, that's getting replaced the problem with these are basically over time dust and dirt and everything gets within this bit here behind that screw just here there inside there um, and inside here as well same with this one in inside here and inside here and what happens is they harden and because they harden, the, the, the maneuverability of this bolt joint uh, here, here, here and here is, is not normal. So, so it tends to start snapping uh, or damaging the, uh, the sensor, which what's happened in my case is actually damaged the screw alignments or the, the nuts inside the unit itself. It's just ripped it apart, basically. I'm sure I've shown it to you last time. Maybe if I can grab the... Uh, grab the bit just hang in there let me grab that sensor and show you what i mean by that right i'm back okay um here we are this is the sensor let me zoom out okay so i've, I've shown you that bit i'll just go onto the bench now okay and show you what's going on. Let me lower this uh, tripod. Uh, it's okay. I think that that should be all right. That should be okay. All right. So that's the box. And look what is done. And I'm sorry, I don't have enough backlight here. Just uh, 
not good enough backlight in the room actually so I'm just trying to think what's the uh, no I can't I can't so I'm just gonna have to live with that actually yeah so as you can see here what he's done is this is snapped this one's totally snapped okay um, and this is kind of snapped but it's not fully okay now why because it was because this was on the back actually look it's stiff it's stiff it's just literally stiff it won't move and that's that was the cause of 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 it breaking off basically what's the part number on this the part number is six seven seven eight eight zero nine that's for the rear height level sensor and when i got the unit they've already the part, part number gets revised once every year once every six months i don't know um but the part number is six seven eight four six nine six that's what the part number is so that's that, okay, and then let me put this away and I'll unbox the others. So that's the prop shaft donut, um, front and back, and it's made by Febby Ballenstein. Now, these were bought in trade for about 144, 142.50, okay, from, from our local supplier. Now, because it's Febby Ballenstein, I'm, I'm quite keen on buying them. The main agent wanted £138 each. Okay, so the cost of one, kind of cost of one, I got both of them. Hope that the quality meets. Um, <clears throat> we won't know until it's been fitted and we'll, we, I will be keeping a, a check on, on them, uh, particularly every MOT, a thorough check on them uh, to ensure that uh, these these are lasting at least they come with a two-year manufacturer guarantee that's what I've been told uh, the supplier g g gives 12 months but manufacturer warranty is 24 months basically from my understanding it is made in Germany it does say here it's made in Germany um, that's what it looks like okay um, so they that is, can go back in the pack all right, and the same, it's exactly the same. Look, the part number is exactly the same. Okay, so I'm not going to bother unpacking the other one. Right, coming on to this, this is original part because the, the supplier couldn't get hold of uh, hold of this, basically. So um, BMW original part, basically, that. This was about £90 with the VAT and, and the trade discount. Again, I can't see any sort of, uh, I don't hear any sort of knocking or any sort of uh, uh, weird noise from the centre of the console or from the under the car. Um, but because we're going to take the prop shaft out fully, I might as well just replace this. Because the vehicle's done 110,000. Um, who knows when it's going to fail, basically. And when a prop shaft fails, you know that it's knocking, banging. If one of the donuts rips out from the back end where the rear diff is, um, uh, the, the damage could be catastrophic so again these are pre preventative measures um, and I would like to sort of get things done the right way okay that's what it looks like the center bearing uh, part number this is the most recent part number uh, which is uh, 8615622 but that's the full code and that's for the that's for the uh, BMW 330D M Sport 2008 model Okay, so that's what it looks like. Let me not sort of. I don't want to take the video too long. What I have here, okay, I'm not going to unpack them, but I'll give you the part number just in case if you're looking for them. That is actually the uh, booth, booth actually, for the uh, prop shaft center. That goes it past. Uh, uh, you, you see on the diagram, it's in it just past that bearing uh, center bearing, basically. Okay, that's that, and that's what the part number is. Okay, there we go. This is the front end rod, but for the le height level sensor. That's what it looks like, and the maneuverability is like this. This is what it should wiggle around. Look, that's what it will like. Around. When it gets seized up, this doesn't move and starts damaging the level sensor housing and the fitment, basically. Okay, so that's for the fr front level sensor. Those are the three screws that hold uh, the prop shaft uh, donut near to the gearbox, basically. So that's near to the front of the engine. Um, I thought I'd replace them, uh, but I've been recommended by my mate not to bother ordering the other screws. So I thought at least I'll replace these because these are the less stronger screws to me 
Um, so I felt that I'd, I'd, I'd get rid of, get you know, ch change these basically. Okay, this is the sleeve. Um, one of the sleeves out of the two. Now I can't remember which is front and which is back, but I'll give you the part number here. That's what the part number is. Seven seven five two six six one one. Now let me sort of. Uh, it would be nice to know what the the trouble is that the invoices are bonkers, um, and uh, the part number and the invoice won't even tell you un unless you look for it online. Let's have a look. Centre sleeve sleeve. Uh, pa -pa -pa -pa. All it says is just a centre sleeve. Uh, the other one's sleeve, so six six. What's the number on it? Five to six one one. Okay, on the invoice it says just centre cent centre sleeve. Okay, the other one. So that's one of the sleeves. The second sleeve is is part number seven five two six eight zero six. That's that one. And finally, these are the rings, okay, and the part number is 7527617, and those are, let me, if I could refer to the diagram, it would have been a better, but uh, let's have a look, what did I order to, those are the damp damper ring, basically, so let me sort of see if I can get a, get it back on the uh, system, number five, yeah, I've already described them to you before, yeah, damper, damp dampering ring, basically, so that's that. That's that's what the next job is, where we're going to be rebuilt. Where we're going to be rebuilding the um, prop shaft from head to toe, and uh, basically, I'll be replacing the uh, front level sensor rod, base, you know, and and uh, because that's stiffened up a little bit. Right. So once that's done, stay tuned because the next job after this, again, it's a preventative measure. Maintenance, I should say, not major maintenance. Uh, we'll, I'll be sort of working on the gearbox. So the gearbox is going to get fully stripped, not fully stripped, as you sorry. The gearbox is pans coming off, all is getting replaced. The Megatronic bo uh, unit is coming down, and uh, I'll be replacing the uh, the what is the, the the sleeves and the washers or whatever you want to call it. Let me just see if I can find it on the catalog. Okay, what is gearbox? Gearbox transmission, automatic transmission. Come on. Yeah, okay, here we are. Let's have a look what number six, seven. Yeah, so if you look here on the diagram, okay, to rebuild. The, the the bottom bit of the gearbox basically is you replace it or well, service I should say the maintenance side of it is you're replacing these these four tubes basically um, and those are the four five so the ceiling sleeve ceiling sleeve ceiling sleeve and what we're on now so these are the ceiling sleeves and also there is a there's a square let me just sort of see if I can find that on the diagram somewhere there should be another Ah, right. okay, there we go. Okay, on um, this is this is getting replaced, which is number two and number one. So number one is the sleeving sl ceiling sleeve, and number two is the adapter that regulates the pressure, um, as well as those those two others, basically um, those round tube ones. What I've shown you before. So if you've got a dodgy shift, uh, the, the the and and the these uh, the rubber seals on on those. Things uh, they tend to sort of uh, flatten over the time. Let me see if I've got the parts here. Basically, I bought them quite a while ago. Let me see if let me climb up. Just bear with me for a sec. Let me climb up onto my desk and then sort of grab them and keep them together. Basically, just hang in there. Oops. Because I bought them a quite a while ago. Here we are. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's get back in into the desk. Okay. So I'm on about them. There's one here. 
Okay, they're in two in one size. There you go, them two are in one size. That's that's slightly longer and that's the longest, okay? Then this is the adapter what we're referring to and that's what the part number is basically on these. So that that this bit of kit is for servicing the gearbox. Uh, I'll be buying the Genwin ZF uh, pan which has the filter built into it and the ZF uh, oil basically, long life oil. And uh, that'll be it then. And then what I would do once every month, just scan this car with Ister D and just keep on top of it. Just make sure that, uh, you know, there's no creeping and underlying issues. Uh, when it's due for an MOT, I will make sure that thorough check has been carried out underneath to make sure that the, the vehicle is okay. It is a good idea to seal the vehicle um, with sealers, on underbody sealers basically, uh, just to prevent any rust getting worse or the rust occurring. Uh, it wasn't bad last year, but this year I've, when I went, went underneath, it looks horrible. It looks like a, a hundred year old car basically. So in a course of a year the corrosion has just came out of nowhere basically so luckily my mates who is really nice guy have actually forced me to go and grab a bottle of these sealers and just supply it on and the underneath looks looks like new now so yeah that's all guys um i think the video's gone on for too long i'll keep you posted look after yourself and uh, bye for now